and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some sejuani swain we're playing a new version from a donation deck that we're going to be going bigger and this one should be pretty exciting um you can see we got uh let's take a look at some of our interaction we got three death lotus a card that y'all know that i love um, we got good two drops with glory seeker and avaros and sentry both very good at two drops avaros and trapper you all Y'all know how much I like that card. Um, but you can see it's all about the top end. We are going to be going with Trifarian Assessor, kind of like um, Ash Sejuani does. We're going to be going with Assessor and Hearthguard, that nice combo. And then we have uh, Swain, uh, Sejuani, of course, our, our uh, champions, and then both of the ships to go find them. So we got two Leviathans and two Tusk Raiders. And then Triple Reckoning with this... This is going to be a big part of our deck. Now, of course, Reckoning does kill Swain, but we can we can try to work around that. And hopefully Hearthguard can get put a plus one, plus one counter on Swain so that whenever Swain's leveled up, it'll be a 5-8. Um, and then we don't have to worry about Reckoning with that. And then we'll get to draw cards with it with Assessor and everything like that, too. Of course, we'll get some Enraged Yeti with Aperos and Trapper to help out with Reckoning. Glory Seeker can help out as well. Uh, pretty cool little deck here. Let's see. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does going real big. Going real big with this Edwani Swain variant. I think we'll title it something like that, like "Go Big or Go Home." Yeah, leveling Sejuani just doesn't. That doesn't matter. We don't. We don't need to worry about that. That's nothing we'll be concerned with. I think I'm going to just keep this hand. I don't know what the, you know, like Misfortune, Twisted Fate. I don't know if Death Lotus is going to be good. This is, you know, quite, it's definitely questionable. I hope so. Like, they're not playing Fizz. It'd be a great card to get hit with that. Maybe I should be mulliganing the Death Lotus. I'm not sure. But I do like having Glory Seeker. It's like good removal for either one. Trapper is nice. And Sejuani, of course, is awesome. Normally, I don't keep Sejuani like a six mana card. Usually, I wouldn't keep a six mana card. But since I'm already keeping all my other three cards that are all cards that I know um, I can play, you know, earlier. And, like, I'm going to have, like, pretty decent turns two through five anyway. Then I'm I'm uh, more willing. You know, that's when I'm willing to keep the six mana card. In Avarosa's name. Calling strike what will be from his fortune. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Damned. Yeah, Death Lotus can do a lot of cool things. Like I, I like Death Lotus. Go I the blow. could see playing two Death Lotus and oh, playing one Blades Edge in this deck, particularly with the Tusk Raider that needs. Plunder enabled to get you the thing with uh, with that, like where you could have like one Blades Edge to do one point of damage to them. That would maybe help with like, you know, just various cards. Yeah, this is this is amazing against Chen or just against barrier decks, definitely. These stories were true. We were all surprised. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Sleight of hand. I need just a moment. For glory, you are mine. No, no, no! 
You poor thing. Say your farewells. Basically, don't want this elusive just to be here the whole time, just doing damage to me and, and turning on all their plunder stuff. Definitely have to be worried about Fury of the North as far as blocking with my Swain goes. Maybe that wasn't good. Maybe I should have used my Death Lotus right there. You know, that would have killed my 3 3 also. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. I'm through waiting. Leave them nothing. So they stole, stole Leviathan. It's too bad. Artillery barrage. Ow. We're still zero out of twelve with our Swain. <laughs> that was one thing. If I would have played Death Lotus instead of. Set a calling strike before. How can you tell when to full swing and when to only attack with a few units only? I mess that up all the time. Probably just practice. I don't. There's not like any hard rule or you know you look for you know anything like particularly like there's not like. It's a good question, but there's not really a good answer if that makes sense. Like there there's not any anything to really see you just it's just kind of practice it's just knowing both life totals kind of thinking of like how are you going to be winning the game you know how do you keep your opponent from winning when do you need to be aggressive when do you not need to be and, and a lot of that like i said is probably just practice Order, sir. Bring forth our army. okay so death lotus you know, like they attack out. I could like Death Lotus, get those things down. For the next kill. Over there. We'll do one damage to this trapper just in case something happens. You know, like they Fury the North, do seven to me, and now I'm like looking at like almost dying. I don't want that to happen. It's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, my cards are pretty cool, aren't they? Line up. Ugh. Taking all my spells. Of course, could definitely see Riptide Rex as the card that's about to be played. So put them down to one and give me the best chance of having my Leviathan survive a Riptide Rex and Leviathan finish them out. So I'm playing, like, if I don't cast that, they just go to five, and then, you know, like, my Leviathan's not going to kill them. I want to try to kill them. That leaves them at four. All right, so if they have Rex... They have Rex, I'm in trouble. By Death Lotus, I can just play Trapper. Oh, wait, you know, wait they can't play Rex now. Right, because they just went 4 mana on that thing. Okay, wait, okay. Not as bad. Not as bad. Sorry. No prey, no prey. Our strength is yours. Fire! Darken the skies. Yeah, I should have gone Death Lotus. This my ship. Death Lotus would have had the Leviathan. Like, we would not have dealt any more damage to the Petty Officer, but we would have had the, the Leviathan deal one extra point of damage. And so would have had lethal with that. So now I'm dead. I was just worried. I was too worried about Riptide Rex. And then, yeah, I just made a, a bad play. I should have gone to the Death Lotus. Citrus Courier. Man, it's nice being able to play all of my cards and all of you, all of their cards again. With this nap stuff. Fortunately now Lotus doesn't kill the Petty Officer either. Well, it's too bad. That'll happen. Playing so many games every day. It'll happen sometimes. Just they have five mana over there, and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do about Riptide Rex. <laughs> With their five mana. Alright, oh and one.
Definitely like calling strike against Ezreal. I don't want them to play Ezreal so they have a good calling strike target. Because now I just don't. Let's get to it. Look out for reavers. Because I kind of have nothing to do. Let's see what we draw. Light the signal fire. Hmm. Still have nothing to do. Yeah, I don't like doing that. Yuck. Well, they have a fleeting card. You'll fight or you'll swim! Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Well, that I definitely need to play this to block. They're taking their time. Come on. Thank you. Wow, it was a mystic shot. And they didn't cast it. It's fine with me. So one mystic shot down from the deck. Safety will cost you. The war mother will unite us all. Yeah, they have a very aggro opening Drink their Ezreal deck. Definitely. This will be quick. So I only take one additional point of damage to keep Trifarian Assessor alive. I think that's worth it. It's worth the. Uh, you know, like I could be at 14 and not have a 4 1, or I could be at 13 with a 4 1. I think it's worth having the 4 1 for one point. Yeah, again, it's just all about Riptide Rex. Maybe they do need to nerf that card. <laughs> That's what it's been like the entire, the you know, the entire stream. It's just, will we get destroyed by Riptide Rex? Yes or no? Pain is nothing. Of course, I'm doing challenging the Pool Shark because I don't want them just to trade Pool Shark and four one. They're gonna. Trade with stuff. I want them trading with the three two. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. I'll do it myself. Of course, I can't have the four one challenge the O two, but I'd rather do this. Get barnacle. You made choices. Left when I'm done. 
Like, if there's no Riptide Rex, I feel pretty good about our game. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. The Sejuani is not just, you know, this is not safe, especially with the powder keg. Okay. Two mystic shots would have done it, or, you know, something. Yeah. Kind of figured, like, thermogenic beam. I thought that was the most likely thing. Well So I feel like because of Rex, I need to play like the multiple three drops instead of just playing an eight drop that dies. And why is that card so broken? I just hope they don't have it and just play Leviathan. Joke debate. I'll play the three drops. and warning shot. This will help. I mean, of course, these three drops will help because we'll draw into the enraged yetis where we will be able to play enraged yetis plus these other things. Don't blink or you miss me. I play Sejuani now, it saves four life. So we're still at nine, or I play Enraged Yeti block, they they do four damage to us, put us down to five. And I go Leviathan. All they need is just a couple of spells to kill us. Oh, that's true. It's six life. It's not four. It's six life. Yeah, I, I gotta do this. I forgot about the two damage from Ezreal. I was counting the four the four damage from Mystic Shot. But right, the Ezreal also does two, so that's six life. So I gotta... I just have to do that. I wish Ravenous Flock did something. My card doesn't look like it does anything. I think we had we had this one since the opener, right? Just has no text. Face me, coward. Could definitely see not playing any ravenous flocks at all. It really doesn't have any text in this deck. It hardly does. Like, ooh. yeah, I could certainly see cutting that card.
we had Avaros and Sentry this game. And, you know, like our Avaros and Sentry just trades with stuff and Brownus block doesn't do anything still. Oh, we have Arachnoid Sentry in the deck. Okay, yeah, I guess we do have that card in the deck. I basically forgot that we were playing that card. We hadn't seen it yet. Yeah, it's, it's great with that card. But how, how do we ever do anything with it when we don't have that card? I don't know. I don't know if I've played against a Lux Fizz deck before. You can see the Nebastian border from here. <laughs> There's another one. For the homestead. And you know, I'm just Outsiders. just want to stake trades. You know, get trades before like Radiant Guardians come down. And of course. The earlier that we can draw cards, the better. Just have, Fight the signal fires. have more information and everything. More different cards to play. I need more hands. Gotcha. Double pay for the next kill. Tread carefully. Well, I do like Death Lotus. It hasn't hasn't looked good in these games yet. We'll see. It could like kill a Fizz that I wouldn't be able to target otherwise, and look even better. You poor thing. Not bad. All right, gonna go Reckoning. And then Sejuani on the Radiant Guardian. Now the Radiant Guardian is tough. We don't get to kill Radiant Guardian right now. In fact, Maybe I should wait until I get to Sejuani plus Culling Strike. Maybe that's better. The life steal we don't have to worry about because you know that twenty life, so I don't have to worry about life steal. As far as that card is concerned. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Time to get rowdy. Carved from the savage cold. 
Asbos. Show them our teeth. Unyielding Spirit. Forgot that's a card. It's gonna make life more difficult. Our strength is yours. It's gonna make life a lot more difficult. So we basically need uh, Swain and Sejuani. Or sorry, so sorry. Swain and Leviathan. Basically need Swain and Leviathan. zero for Swain still. Maybe like, Av maybe Avalanche would be better than Death Lotus. It's like a way to like actually level up Swain. Let the light guide you. I'm not sure. I'm going to be casting the Noxian Fervor to keep them from getting the two. Uh, three damage to them just doesn't matter because they, they're just going to gain five life with Radiant Guardian anyway. So might as well do the damage to Lux in case um, they spend another two mana to level up Lux again so that it doesn't die. So kept kept them from leveling up uh, with that extra three mana. Uh, sure, going to three. Need another glory seeker. My friends, though. If that was glory seeker, they dealt five damage. We could have maybe won this. No, no, no. I only have one calling strike. I don't have two. Never mind. Never mind. Um. In Avarosa's name. Mm. Basically, have to do 20 damage in one turn, which we're not playing Ash, where Ash has a whole lot of things not to block. Makes that makes life easier. Pain is nothing. Now 
tab is broken. had our opponents play tons of leviathans and tusk raiders against us <laughs> well, that has happened quite a bit today now in these three games oh and three i could have won the first game but not really the second two just kind of forgot about unyielding spirit didn't play around that at all Sentry even doing? Sentry would be good if we find this one card in our deck, Ravenous Flock. Makes no sense from a game design point of view. Card games are all about designing decks, so why is there a mechanic that gives you random cards to input in the deck yourself? I mean, it kind of makes sense with pirates, right? Like, pirates plunder and steal things and all that kind of stuff. It's like, how do you how do you kind of put that into a game? Nap seems like a decent way to do that. I was hoping to get more things with this Death Lotus, but I guess I'll just, they're still not playing anything else. I guess I'll just do that. Deal me in. I don't even know what your question is, uh, kid, but I don't understand it at all, but... Don't. There's no reason to insult people. Don't, don't insult people. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. All right, one out of twelve, which is the most that we've had. I'm always up for a round or two. At this time, that's the that's the closest tracks. we've had to level up Swain. One. <laughs> that's more than zero. That's been the other games. definitely see this opponent playing Nautilus early. I think it's possible. And so I'm going to keep this calling strike in case that happens. Me in. 
So that's the last one of those. All that glitters. Yeah, I played uh, just Demacia with the Lucian Elite deck. Would be a good time to play Reckoning. Think, right? Yeah. yeah it means we, that we don't get to play Leviathan. That's the bad part about playing Reckoning here, is we don't get to play Leviathan. But hopefully that saves said Wani. Basically two for two. I mean, not even that. <laughs> Harvey, why are you, why? Why are you barking? No. All right, I don't want, I guess we're gonna use the, this calling strike. Don't have for a Nautilus now, but I don't want them. Dealing damage to me, drawing more cards. Destination in sight. Peer into the darkness. That kind of seems like what how life's going today. So of course they just have Nautilus that they play right after. anyway. Keep on playing so many different Sejuani Swain decks and they don't work out. I'm sorry, Sigma. I had the one version that uh, that I made that we did did put up a real good record with, but I don't know. Every every other version I've tried with Sejuani Swain just doesn't. Doesn't work. This should be a matchup that is very good for us. We lost it earlier. This should be one because of the size of our units that should be good for us, but Again, they can nab our Leviathans like they did, and then they also have Riptide Rex. No, there's no City Breaker in here. I do like City Breaker. I think I play City Breaker in my version, I think. 
think I have a couple of those. Yeah, I think I'm playing two. I'll, I'll show the, the other version after this. All right, at least they don't they don't have the same aggressive start they had last time. Don't have one drop. Take from the rich, give to me. Well. What do we have here? Jack pocket. <clears throat> sometimes you run hot and things go really well for you like with our elite deck sometimes you run really cold and things don't work out for you Just borrowing. not always not always roses time for a true display of skill Okay, Death Lotus gives us something to do one point of damage, so that we get then get to Ravenous Lock. That's good. That does get us pretty close to leveling up Swain, so that's good as well. Now we're up to nine. There's plenty of killing left. For the many. Of course. My legacy. They just have calling strike. Why not? That's a card that you should expect to play against. Calling strike. Bow to no one. I have made a, I think what you're, yeah, I think what you're looking for is like Captain Fair. Let's see, I put, I did make a Farron Ledros Control. That was a deck that somebody asked about. My name's Ben. This is, um, this is a link to that. Um, it's not, you know, maybe it's not exactly the kind of deck that you're talking about, but that could get you pretty close. City Breaker is just amazing with both of these champions. It's how you can level up Sejuani, and whenever you have a leveled up Sejuani or a Swain, City Breaker is amazing with either one. The War Mother will unite us all. The dead don't need missions. Stand and defend. If we can get three damage on them, like if our Leviathan doesn't die to Riptide Rex, then we can have the 5 8 Swain. But of course it will. And they just, again, just have lethal. They just gotta attack me. I don't have any blockers, don't have any removal. Um. I yeah, just didn't like our interaction. Like, Ravenous Flock looked really bad a lot of times. Death Lotus looked really bad a lot of times. Just didn't like our interaction. 
and then you know just having this stuff was just pretty slow we had a couple of good reckonings but um yeah all right so the other version that i've played a, a little bit does have a little bit of death lotus and does have ravenous flock uh, I guess the the main difference is I I like Avalanche quite a bit. You know, like you saw like all all those like three twos and stuff. Like Petty Officer is everywhere, and um, I do really like Avalanche. I think Avalanche uh, levels up your Swain very fast, and also uh, that that's just a, a better way to turn on a Ravenous Flock I think than the than the three two stun. And then of course Death's Hand just you know more ways to do to have removal that d does stuff like. Um, so instead of playing so many calling strikes, I would play Death's Hand to pair with those. Um, and then uh, Sentry and Starlet Seer is what I use for the, the two drops. Because Glory Seeker is good, but it's not really something to play on turn two, where Starlet Seer can be that. Um, and then Elixir of Iron, that card's very nice. It's keeping things alive. And then I also have Harsh Winds in there, Babbling Beard to get a little card draw. Um, so yeah, I like this version of Such Bonnie Swain more myself. It's always good to try different things, but we just did not have, you know, we had, we just didn't have any way to level up Swain, didn't have any way to level up Such Um, so ne neither of our champions could level up. Um,. Yeah, and so so those of y'all uh, watching later on, if you want uh, this list here, I'll just put. Uh, always ask for it in chat, but um, the last YouTube video that I played with Sejuani Swain, if you go, you know, go to the video, you know, you can find that one on there. We started with a different list, and that also just didn't work as well. And we were zero and three with the other list, and so then I went went to that one, and we went three zero with it. Uh, I don't think this is a Tusk Raider deck at all. I think that, that this is not... like The deck that we have here can't turn on Plunder, and so I just don't think you, you should be playing Tusk Raider without being able to turn on Plunder. And so I don't know. Maybe that means that we shouldn't have such Wani because we can't turn on Plunder. I don't know. I don't know. It just didn't work. Oh well, all right, that's Sejuani Swain. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Hopefully y'all learned stuff. That's what it's all about. It's all about learning. Hopefully y'all uh, were learning and things like that. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're still entertained and everything like that. Thank you so much for watching though. I really appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.